Welcome to part two prep of my Coleman Camper roof repair slash replacement. In the last video, I ripped off the layer of ABS that covered the top, and now I'm gonna be working on um, patching things up and doing some Bondo work and making this thing ready for the Grizzly Grip, which will be in the next video. Okay, this is the Bondo. I have never used Bondo before, and I've watched videos and done my best here. This stuff is, it dries up real fast, so you gotta be quick with it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to smooth out the transition here. And I've already done this with a couple of others. You want to get it real thick where it's where the major transitions are. And I've had to go over and do a couple two, three times. So once this is this batch is done, it'll harden up and I'll come back in with another batch and then sand it in between and at the end. And we're gonna hope for the best here. I've seen other people do a similar job. Hopefully after two coats of Grizzly Grip as well, we won't have, you won't see all the little imperfections. You gotta work fast with this stuff. And it's really, really stinks. You probably have some type of ventilator or mask if you really want to have best practices here. I'm also using this for cracks and other imperfections anywhere where the foam has really come off. Not necessarily like a thin layer of foam, but like thicker areas where the foam has come off. And that's gonna be our first coat. I'll probably do another coat or two um, standing in between so that we don't see this or feel this transition here or this one. Uh, this is one that I've already done about three um, layers on. You can't see, you know, the lines. Um, obviously, this isn't perfect. But I've sanded it down a couple of times. I'll probably sand it down again. Um, but it's pretty good. All right, this is a Ryobi Corner Cat. I have been just manually sanding, and then I realized I had one of these. So it helps a little bit, but if you're not careful, you could end up making another um, ding that you have to bondo over. So what I'm using this for is if you get real close, you can see that there's like peaks, you know, in the bondo. It's like really rough, like really rough. So I want to sand that down so it's smoother. So here's one that I did already. So this had all those same peaks that you can tell. It's really smooth now. So I'm hoping after you get the two layers of Grizzly Grip that, you know, it's gonna look really nice. This area over here, is where I was sanding to get those, get rid of those peaks, but then I nicked up here um, in the foam, so I had to bond over that, so now I'm gonna have to sand over this. You can do all of this manually, but I am doing I am using my power sander with a mask um, carefully so that I don't make more problems for myself. <laughs> Let's go 
going to clean this off. I'll just kind of scrape off the excess and wipe down the other stuff. that one again. Well, I hope that this was helpful to you all. Um, again, I am definitely not a Bondo expert, but uh, did my best. Um, I also put some plastic up for drop cloth to get ready for um, my Grizzly Grip, which I'll be applying um, in the next video. So stay tuned for that.